Americans. So why am I off the rails, Mr. Shapiro? Uh, you know, honestly, Pierce, you've kind of been a bully on this issue because what you do, and I've seen it repeatedly on your show, I watch your show, um, and I've seen it repeatedly, what you tend to do is you tend to demonize people who differ from you politically by standing on the graves of the children of Sandy Hook, saying they don't seem to care enough about the dead kids. If they cared more about the dead kids, they would agree with you on policy. I think we can have a rational political conversation about balancing rights and risks and rewards of all of these different policies, but I don't think that what we need to do is demonize people on the other side as, as being unfeeling about, the, about what happened in How Sandy How dare Hook. you accuse me of standing on the graves of the children that died there? How dare you? I've seen you do it repeatedly, Pierce. Like I say, how dare you? Well, I mean, you can keep saying that, but you've done it repeatedly. What you do, and I've seen you do it on, on the program, is you keep saying to folks that if they disagree with you politically, then somehow this is a violation of, of what happened in Sandy Hook. And you have yet, I, I, I really like to hear your policy prescriptions for what we should do about guns. Because you say that you respect the Second Amendment, and you yeah. know, I brought this here for you so that you can read it. It's the Constitution. And I, I would really like for you to explain to me what you would do about guns that would have prevented what happened in Sandy Hook. If you want to do what you did in the UK, right, which is ban virtually all guns, that is at least a fair argument. And we can have a discussion about whether that's something that we ought to do well, or I've not. I've made it very clear what I want to do, which is exactly what Mark Kelly wants to do. And in fact, rather than address, okay, so your, let's talk about that. Rather than address your comments to me about uh, standing on the graves of children at Sandy Hook. You can address them to Mark Kelly because he agrees with everything that I've been saying because he feels the same way as does his wife. They're gun owners. They both respect the Second Amendment of the Constitution. They don't want to take away anybody's right to defend themselves with guns. They well, they want to take away certain types of guns, obviously. They want to take away assault weapons, which are capable with magazines like we saw at Aurora and Sandy Hook of unleashing uh, a ridiculous amount of well this is a question i wanted to ask you pierce because i've seen you i've seen you talk about assault weapons a lot and i've seen mark kelly talk about assault weapons mm. the vast majority of murders in this country that are committed with mm. guns are not committed with assault weapons they're committed with handguns okay, so are you willing to ban handguns in no, this country across no, the country? no that's not what i'm asking for why not uh, let me ask you don't you care about the kids who are being killed in chicago as much as the kids in sandy hook yes i do this video despite being about 10 years old absolutely catapulted Ben into the stratosphere of conservative shows. He was sort of well known before this, he was known in some circles, but this took him from the C list to the A list. And you know what? He's really, really right when it comes to Piers Morgan, because Piers Morgan will bully people on screen. He will get mad at them for not fully agreeing with them, because he is the true voice of reason. And furthermore, he was standing on the graves of kids. That's exactly what he was doing. So yes, how dare Ben Shapiro, because he's absolutely right. So it's funny you should bring up Mark Kelly, because again, this is almost 10 years ago. There wasn't a bill that was written by Mark Kelly about assault weapons or so-called assault weapons. Uh, there, there's really only a couple of kind of layers of weapons. There's semi-automatic, automatic, and then there's single shot. So. If you want to sit there and talk about the movement of Congress and just how slow things can really get, Mark Kelly has been a name in liberal circles for about uh, 10, fi about 15 years or so. And he just now got a bill into Congress j in late 2023. That's how slow things move in American politics. But furthermore, we got to talk about the differences between handguns and assault weapons, so so to speak. Uh, these big, scary, big, bulky rifles, you know, the kind that Kyle Rittenhouse correctly used to defend himself, those are scary. Aw, what a shame. Do they commit the most murders? Are they at the highest rate? Nope. Nowhere close. Nowhere near close to the highest. Why? They're harder to get because different states have different laws. And funny you should mention that, the different states have different laws. It's almost as if at the federal level where this piece of legislation is being talked about, where everyone says we need middle ground, we had these great words that Congress shall not infringe. It's not hard, ladies and gentlemen. You can't pass this at a federal level because even the most liberal Supreme Court would, would say it doesn't matter about precedent. The Second Amendment, unless there's another amendment to take it down, will stand and break that law down. So uh, the biggest part about this, however, is why do we not talk about crime in the cities? Why don't we do this? Uh, the conservatives bring it up all the time because what it will ultimately admit is that the reason the media doesn't care about crime in the inner cities is because the people who care most, the people who look at the big assault weapons and say big scary guns, are rich, white, affluent liberals who just feel so heartbroken that people uh, had died on screen and died in their communities instead of, you know, some poor, dirty slobs community. 
That's really the ultimate difference and it's something that I'll constantly harp on basically until they cancel me. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed the segment here on AW. Catch y'all on the next one. Till then, y'all have a good one.